Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way here to Vipic City after surfing through Route 4. Today, we are going to explore Vipic City, but before we do that, I'm going to take care of some hints and tips that you guys left me. We're going to go back to Route 4. I've also trained up our Pokemon. Pebbles at level 30, Strikes at 31, Swords at 30, the Rooks at 31, Sandy's at 30, and Aqua is at level 36. So our Pokemon are looking quite strong. If you guys are looking for a place to train, train right here where our buddy the Sailor is. There's a bunch of Pokemon there you can train on. There's some really good Pokemon where you can get some big XP as well. Now, we're going to go for a surf in Route 4 because you guys told me that there is going to be a, a Delta Pokemon located here. We just got to look for it. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's use the Repel and start surfing around and see if we can find where this Delta Pokemon is going to be located. This looks about right. And there we go. There is a house in the northeast corner of Route 4. Let's step inside and see what we can find. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, there is a Pokemon in front of us. Not just any Pokemon. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus... Delta Routes, level 15. So another Delta species Pokemon has appeared for us, and that is amazing. Thank you guys so much for your tips and your comments. Make sure you hit that like button, as it really does help the series. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Now, I'm going to send the Rook out, and I'm going to go for the Confuse Ray. At this moment, Routes is lower level than us by a lot. So I don't want to KO this Pokemon. We're going to let it weaken itself with the Confusion. This is usually a good way to do it. The Pokemon weakens itself, and then it'll usually snap out of it before it even comes close to getting KO'd. So if you guys are having some trouble because your Pokemon are too strong, this is a really good way to catch them. I know that as we go, we're going to keep getting higher and higher level, and it looks like the Delta are just going to stay around like 15. And there we go! Delta Routes was caught, and we're going to gain some good XP from that, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and give Delta Routes a nickname. It is the Perception Pokemon, and it is Electric Ice? That is a wonderful combination i have not heard of that before that is pretty crazy a delta species discovered by echo the third and zero breaker it uses its own ice and electricity to help make its trainers life easier let's give it a nickname we are going to call this routes mifa after another champion from the legend of zelda breath of the wild so i'd like you to welcome mifa to our team now mifa got sent over to the pc and we're going to have to swap Mifa in. But there's still one more thing that I do want us to take care of. And we're going to have to backtrack a little more for that. I've brought us back to Route 3. If you guys remember, there was a guy here who was offering us a Delta Scyther. But he wanted a Steel-type Pokemon before he made that trade. Now, we have a Delta Routes that I've added, thanks to you guys. And now it's time to take care of the Delta Scyther as well, which is something that I did have planned for us. So we're going to run around here a little bit. We are very close to leveling up Sword. And as you guys know, Sword will be evolving into a Steel Fighting type. So that could be very, very helpful for us as we haven't found any Steel Pokemon yet up to this point. With that, ladies and gentlemen, what? Sword is evolving. And yes, Sword is indeed going to evolve. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our little Ryolu is growing up. And congratulations, our sword evolved into Lucario. So there we have it. Now we do have a fighting steel type Pokemon on our team. And we'll be able to trade it for a Delta Scyther. So it's been awesome having sword here on this adventure. And I know that we are going to have a blast with all the Pokemon that are coming. So let's step inside, ladies and gentlemen, and talk to the guy. So you found me. I'm the proud owner of a rare Delta Pokemon. I'll trade it to you if you want. My Delta Scyther for any Steel-type Pokemon. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to say goodbye to Sword. Ah, good choice. Here you are, then. See you later, Sword. Thank you for everything you've done for us. For Rodri's Lucario, Hiker Trevor sends Scyther. Hiker Trevor bids farewell to Scyther. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've obtained 
Cleaver, the Delta Scyther. And we are looking so good with it by our side. That is an awesome looking Delta Pokemon. As I told you guys, I'm gonna try to use as many Delta Pokemon as I can. Cleaver is level 31, so very strong now. It is an ice fighting type. So we are gonna have more ice Pokemon on our team. We have Agility, Low Sweep, Ice Ball, and Slash. Those are okay moves, but I'm sure we'll be learning some better ones as we go. Now, we're good to make our way back to Vipic City. We're back in Vipic City, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the Delta Scyther is with us, but Mipha isn't. Since Mipha is level 15, I'm gonna have to train it off screen and then bring it into the party. I also want to ask you guys for a nickname for our Delta Scyther, so make sure you guys leave it in the comments. I always pick a nickname for some of these Delta species from there, so leave them down below and I'll pick the best one. Hey Brodry, are you here to take on the Vipic City Gym? So am I, I'm just getting ready. I mean, I'm sure you and Nora won't have much trouble, knowing you two were chosen by me and Celebi and all. Excuse me. Oh my interruption, but did I hear one of you two mention Mew? Um, no, no, of course not! We would, uh, no, we didn't! Oh, I see, my apologies then. I'll be on my way. Well, that was close. Nobody's supposed to know about that, remember? Nora said there was a prophecy or something. Anyways, good luck on the gym. I'm gonna go train a bit and take it on myself. Big Mouth Damien, yet again spewing all of our secrets to everyone we have officially made it to vipic city's gym the leader is xavier ladies and gentlemen a lot of people have took on this gym and it's gonna be very exciting do you know you can look at a gym sign to see interesting statistics i do know now and it looks like we are ready to step inside our second gym so let's go ahead and make our way in we made it to vipic gym What's poppin', little machop? In? Never mind. Welcome to the Vipic City Gym. The leader here, Xavier, runs a forest-themed gym. That's right. This gym is dual-type. It's based around a theme and not a type. Bug and poison types are the name of the game. Whenever you're ready, just climb into the hole in the tree. This gym is a maze of tree holes. Take this for luck. Thanks for the fresh water. Well, best of luck there, champ. This guy, always looking out for us. Always cheering us on. What can I say? It really gets me pumped for the gym. And let's go ahead and make our way into the tree then. Hey, what? why is it so dark in here? I really do not know where the heck I'm supposed to be going. There's more trees. So we're going to have trees on trees. Now, I'm going to keep our Delta Scyther up in front. Let's jump into a battle today then, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see what we can do around here. I'm always up for some battles, especially when they're gym battles. So we're going to be taking on three Pokemon. The first one is a Volbeat. Let's go for our Ice Ball. It's going to do a good amount to it. I'm going to keep our Delta Scyther out for now. And I'll mix in some of our Pokemon as we go. It's going to be a lot of fun getting to use some of our new Deltas. So I want to make sure we do just that. I'm going to go for the Agility here. The Signal Beam is coming out. It actually did not do as much as I thought. I'm going to keep on going with the Ice Balls. Ooh, a little crit as well from the Vol B. You guys can see that the Pokemon are all level 30. So we are going to be battling Pokemon around our level. We aren't that much higher level in these Pokemon. A Vavillion is going to be coming out. I'll be okay. I'm going to keep our Delta Scyther out against everyone that we can. Because our ice is going to be super effective, ladies and gentlemen. Vavillion is down. Let's keep this up. This is going very well for us. We grew to level 33 already. And we're trying to learn Blizzard? Oh my goodness, Blizzard already? Well, that's pretty freaking insane. I'm going to get rid of Agility, and we are going to learn Blizzard. Dustox is coming out, and I am not stopping anytime soon, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to hold in. I'm going to go for the Blizzard. It missed! No! And there we go. Our Delta Scyther has gone down. It's okay, it's okay. A lot of fun getting to use all of our Pokemon. I'm telling you guys, once our Pokemon get to these points where I can switch them in and out, battles are going to be a piece of cake. We also learned Flame Burst on Strike, so keep a lookout for some of the move, new moves that our Pokemon learn while I was training them up. We're a little bit confused. No, I don't want to be hurting myself in the confusion. I need to do some damage. 
the flame burst is actually not doing as much as I wanted it to because the dust ox is defending itself quite well. Let's hit the flame burst. One more should just about do it, ladies and gentlemen. If we can just hold out here, we're hitting ourselves with the confusion. This is not looking good. We snapped out of it, and there we go. Dust Dox is down, and this is the first trainer that we've had to battle here. So you guys know it's only gonna get tougher in this place. They even have like patches of grass here. So if you guys wanna find whatever is gonna be in that grass, who knows? Uh, that is what you are gonna need to do. I'm gonna go to the right this time. That led us back to the beginning. Okay, so it is gonna be a pretty good maze to get around. Now, I'm gonna go back this way then. This is where we just defeated the trainer. I wonder if there's another way for us to go. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go to... Let's go down? Let's see where this goes. Okay, that led us to another tree. And there we go! Very good, we figured out the maze. And it looks like we have a trainer up in front of us. I should heal up our Pokemon before we get into this battle. I'm ready. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Let's go talk to the gym leader. What's good? Name's Xavier. I train Pokemon as a profession. I'm the leader here. You here to battle? Sweet. I'll take you on whenever you're ready. I'm not as much of a pushover as I look. Plus, I have a little surprise up my sleeve. Let's get started. I'm not gonna hold back. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Xavier. It is time to battle Vipic City's gym leader, Xavier. He has six Pokemon ready to go. So this is not gonna be just any battle, ladies and gentlemen. This one is gonna be much tougher than we thought. Let's open up with the Blizzard then and see how much we are going to be able to do here. Now the Sandstorm is raging. So that's going to make things a little bit tough on us. I'm going to go for the low sweep here. So far, so good. If we can keep that up, I think we'll be okay. The low sweep is about one hit away from taking down the shuckle. It's not doing that much damage to us. And I am happy with that. I am all about that. A super potion has come out from Xavier, though. And I'm just going to keep going for that low sweep. You guys already know. We're gonna make sure we can pack a punch here. The music is very intense too. As you guys heard, Xavier has a surprise. So there's probably gonna be some very strong Pokemon coming out here soon. We grew to level 34, that was a ton of XP. Heracross is gonna be coming out. I am gonna switch out for the Heracross. Let's see, I'm gonna send out Strike here against the Heracross. I'm gonna hold our Delta Scyther for now, since I'm sure we'll be able to use it later on as well. Heracross, bug fighting, watch out. This thing can do a lot of damage here. Ooh, it has Rock Slide, oh boy. We flinched on that, are you freaking kidding me? No way. And there you go, the Rock Slide's gonna take us out. So that strike gone. Heracross is a tough Pokemon. Can't believe that just happened right away. We're gonna have to send out Delta Scyther back out here. I thought we'd get to get one move off on this guy. Doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna go for the Blizzard here. The Brick Break is coming out, which is gonna be super effective on us. So I'm not faster than the Heracross. I thought I possibly would be, but it doesn't seem like I am. Time to send out Aqua out here and let's see what Aqua can do. I'm gonna go for the Rain Dance and then we're gonna start packing some moves out here. The counter came out, so that was perfect for me to go for the Rain Dance there. That worked out really, really good for us. It's time to use some Aqua Tails. Now, Aqua Tail is pretty strong. If we can just tank out some of those Brick Brick Breakity Brick 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 Breakities, I think we'll be okay. As you guys saw, our Aqua Tail did an absolute monstrous amount of damage. I'm gonna go for the Aqua Ring here as well. So we're gonna be healing up a little bit. And the Heracross keeps going for the counter. So this is a very good strategy for us to be using at the moment. Let's go for the Play Rough. Let's try to take this Pokemon down. 
before it puts too much damage on us so I can at least try to take down one more Pokemon with Aqua. Heracross is down, so there we go. The battle is still even, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Got to see what else Xavier is going to send out. Tentacruel! Okay, so the Tentacruel is going to be coming out now. I'm going to keep Aqua out against the Tentacruel. It is a water type as well, so it's going to be raining a little bit on it. I'm going to go for the play rough here. We'll see what Tentacruel goes for. The Acid Spray? It is super effective. It did a lot of damage. Let's hope that the play rough can do a good bit. It's not an insane amount, but it's also not bad. Let's hold out here. The barrier is going to come out. Woo! It's a good thing. We are on the attack right now. Because I feel like these Pokemon could be doing some good damage to us. Ouch! That did way more! And our special defense is falling at a rapid rate, ladies and gentlemen. We need a big move here. We need a move that's going to KO this Pokemon. Let's just hang on just a little bit. The Venoshock is definitely going to take us out. It does more damage if you're poisoned. It's a very, very good move. I've had the chance to use it before myself. Let's send out the Rook then. Let's see what Daru can do here in this gym battle. The Acid Spray is going to be coming out. It did not do that much. But it did lower our special defense. Dragon Breath, another move that I recently learned for Daru as we were training up. So, one of those to keep an eye out for. Let's go for one more Dragon Breath. That is going to take down the Tentacruel. Woo, this battle is pretty intense. Let's see who's going to be coming out next then so I can prepare. We're trying to learn Shadow Ball. And yeah, I'm going to learn Shadow Ball about time. My goodness. Let's get rid of Shadow Sneak then. And with that, guys, we're going to learn ourselves. Shadow Ball. Much stronger. Beedrill is going to be coming out. Let's see. Against a Beedrill. I could send out Pebble. I really could. I think Pebble might be able to do it. For right now, I'm going to keep the Rook. Let's see what Daru can do against a Beedrill. It is level 33. I'm going to hit it with the Confuse Ray. It's going for the Pursuit, so you guys know it's going to be doing a lot of damage. Any Pokemon that have the Pursuits on us are going to be trouble. Now, I did pick up a couple Super Potions, so let's be sure to use those. No revives yet, but we do have some Super Potions. So there we go. We're at 77 HP right now. Come on, Beedrill, hit yourself, please! Another Pursuit? No way! I have no luck with the Confusions. Absolutely no luck. My Confusions never stick on the enemy. We're gonna use one more on Daruk. And let's hope... There we go, it hurt itself in its Confusion. Finally! It took us long enough. Now... We're going to go for the Dragon Breath here. And we're going to try to take down this Beedrill if we can survive these pursuits. Of course, there's there's the crit. There is the crit. And, oh no! 1 HP on the Beedrill! You gotta be kidding me! I'm risking it. There we go. We took down the Beedrill. Wow! That was intense! <laughs> these battles are actually very tough here. Haunter is going to be coming out. Ah, the Rook could definitely take out this Haunter. The Rook could definitely do it. We're going to keep the Rook out. Level 33. I'm going for the Shadow Ball. Okay, Haunter went for the Confuse Ray. It's using a similar strategy to us. We got, you gotta be kidding me. I cannot save myself from a confusion to save my life. And whenever I need the confusion to hit, it really does not turn out that way. Here we go again. Shadow Ball. Haunter is missing. It's hypnosis. Fingers crossed. There we go. The Shadow Ball hit. Boom! It's a crit, baby! Yes! Super effective. The Haunter is down! Woo! I needed that. I needed that. You best believe. 
Okay, Krogunk. This is the last Pokemon we're going up against. I'm going for the Confuse Ray. I'm confused going for the Confuse Ray. And we managed to land it. Great job, Daruk. Keep this up. Keep this up for your team. So glad we were able to train up Daruk. Okay. Let's go for the Dragon Breath. We snapped out of the confusion. And there we go. Krogunk also snapped out of the confusion, though. We're being hit with the Toxic. We're hurt by the poison. This should do it. The Rook's going for the Dragon Breath, and Krogunk is down! Krogunk fainted. We're gonna gain a bunch of XP. The Rook grew to level 34, and we defeated Leader Xavier. We did it, yeah! Man, I can't believe I lost. We got 3,300 for winning. Man, I lost. I'm so glad we got to have a battle, though. I had a ton of fun. It's with great pride I award you my badge. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have obtained the Stinger Badge. That is the second badge here in the Torn region. Take this, too. A gift from me. We obtained TM76 Venoshock. As I told you guys, Venoshock is pretty decent when a Pokemon is poison. It's actually a very, very good move. I've had the chance to use it before. So if you have a strong poison type Pokemon on your team, be sure to use it. I think you'll want to head out to Helio City for your next gym. The leader there has a gym based around the sky. Good luck! You beat me fair and square. Great work. We really did beat him fair and square. So great work to all of you guys that left me all those hints and tips. We were able to take down Vipic City's gym leader and obtain our second badge. Hey, are you Rodri? I've got a letter for you. Some guy in a blue suit and hair left it with me. This letter is for the one chosen by Mew. We have your friend. We will be waiting in the city dump. Come alone or he dies. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Damien got kidnapped. Oh my goodness. I hope you don't mind. I took a peek at it. The Vipic dump is just on the other side of the town. Damien got himself kidnapped and now we're gonna have him to go and rescue him. This guy is worse than Princess Peach getting captured by these grunts. You know what I'm talking about, Nurse Joy? I mean, my goodness. Talk about us having to be saving people. You're always saving people, huh, Nurse Joy? Saving a bunch of Pokemon. Keep up the good work, Nurse Joy. Somebody's got to do it around here. Now, before we are done here in Vipic City, I want to check out one more thing with you guys. So there is a hidden grotto here in Route 4 that I did not go into. I want to go into it with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now before we finish off. So let me use the repel. Make sure you use them, guys. We're definitely going to need them through here. And I am just going to run us all the way back. Now, this is one that I ran past, you know, when I'm battling trainers and talking about things of life. Sometimes you can get a little distracted and you can run past the grotto. So the grotto is right at the beginning of the route. We're going to follow it inside and see what we can find. And it is a great ball. Okay. We found us a great ball. Nothing fancy. Nothing crazy. But... We'll take it. Next time, we'll be continuing from here in Vipic City. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Goodbye.